Before we go, King Kamehameha V ascended to the throne after the death of his brother. Much of his reign was dedicated to finishing the work his brother started. Kamakapili has tonight's Aloha Authentic. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you can learn more about Hawaii and our history if you did? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we bring the attention back to Hawaii's last King Kamehameha. In the Ahupua'a of Maka'ehu, which lies in the moku of Kula on the island of Maui, stands a street named after a given name to King Kamehameha V. We're talking about Ali'iolani Street. Born Lat Kapuaiva Kalani Makua Ali'iolani Kalani Kapua Pai Kalani Nui, King Kamehameha V died childless. He ascended the throne following the untimely death of his younger brother, King Kamehameha IV. But despite not having any children, that doesn't mean the king didn't leave behind some of his own legacies. Mauna Ala, the royal mausoleum on Oahu, started with an idea by King Kamehameha IV and his queen. But it was Kamehameha V who started the construction of the royal mausoleum following the passing of his brother. It was completed in 1865 and today houses the remains of most members to Hawaii's ruling families. Kamehameha V also carried out his brother's vision with St. Andrew's Cathedral, a tribute to his sibling who died on St. Andrew's Day. He laid its cornerstone in 1867. The cathedral still stands today in downtown Honolulu over 150 years later. Originally designed as a royal palace, Ali'iolani Hale opened in 1874 to house the legislature, courts, and kingdom offices. Named after King Kamehameha V, who ordered its construction, Ali'iolani Hale is now known as the Judiciary Building because of its use. Did you know? Now you do.